doesn't take something to be supernatural for it to be a monster. Hey guys, this is my review for Benders, an episode I've very much been looking forward to. This is one of the more standout filler episodes of Supernatural, as obviously they're not fighting monsters, they're just fighting hillbillies, and it's kind of their take on the most dangerous game, that short story, as well as other sort of kind of man versus man, man hunting man sort of story elements that have been used in different stories and different shows and different movies. This also harkens back a little bit to that hillbilly episode, the inbred hillbilly episode in the X-Files. Speaking of the X-Files though, I made a comment back in the last episode review of season one that season one had a lot of filler in it and a lot of not really mind driving narrative. To be honest, it's exactly how the first season of the X-Files came and now I'm starting to see the similarities. Not only just because a lot of people who worked on the X-Files, like Kim Manners and different people, worked on this show, but just how the narrative works. It's a very slow narrative, but they have still pretty cool, if not intriguing, episode concepts with each episode, whether they be story or filler. By the way, I also think this is filmed in Jamestown. That barn looked gosh darn familiar. And if that is Jamestown, then that's hilarious because that's where they filmed All Hell Breaks Loose Part 1 season finale from season two. It's literally like you just turn the camera around and you could see the middle of the town square. It's pretty funny that they can use such a small amount of space and still completely differentiate it. That's if I'm correct. I'm pretty certain I am. So on for the benders. I like this episode one because of the just the concept. I like that they fight something that's human and once Carver comes in that's pretty much the apex because everything goes downhill with the British men of letters as villains because they're pansies. Uh, other aspects of this episode I like is the humor. The scene where Dean goes into the house and fights off the brothers then gets KO'd with a piece of metal and the bang noise I swear is something out of uh, Looney Tunes cartoon. It sounds that comical. Then when he wakes up and he's being tortured by the guys is pretty funny. He has a lot of really funny lines in that scene. For a scene that's talking about having a hawk poker going in the eyeball. There's some oddly very well placed humor in this episode. There's also the idea of loss and the idea of what happens with missing persons cases. There's a few people I know who have had relatives or people that they know go completely missing and there's no answer to it. Episode kind of answered the idea of what happened if you could answer those questions, if you could figure out what happened to missing people. Not just Sam, but the cop character in particular. Another actually kind of interesting thing is granddad hillbilly in this. This guy's actually had a career for like 30, 40 years prior to this episode. He was a lot of side characters in a lot of big shows, but he was in a lot of substantial projects over the 70s and 80s too. So it's kind of interesting to see almost a veteran you would say definitely in terms of length of career for sure i liked how the action was shot i did like how the concept of humanity as a villain as an entity of evil was used in this episode the humor is very good and the brother dynamic works very well in this episode despite it having nothing to do with the main narrative they do refer back to the skin episode where dean makes that joke that real handsome though anyways i'm going to give the benders a four out of seven it's an enjoyable episode it's a good episode just the lack of narrative in this episode doesn't really help it at all as well as they beef this up basically with carver i do like this episode though don't get me wrong it is a good episode it's just not a great episode, but it's still a very good one. And as always, I asked you guys last episode what your comments, thoughts, likes, dislikes about the Benders were, and now I'm going to read off those comments for you. First one here is from Rob Hanna, regular. Uh, love, love, love the Benders. I think it is based on a short story called The Most Dangerous Game. Yes, you're, you're correct. Also, there is a scene where you can see the boom mic, our mic on wheels. Not sure what you call it. Quickly roll in and out. See if you can spot it. It's in the scene where Sam's cage is talking to the other guy. Now, actually, I didn't see this, admittedly, but I'll have to go back and try and find it now. Got another one here from Stu123. Another great review. Keep them coming. The Benders is great. Possibly the first time we see humans acting as twisted as monsters in Supernatural. I honestly forget every time I see it that this is season one. This is a season one episode. 
I always think it's in the latter half of season three for some reason. And finally, one here from Hollow Man. I wonder if Sam remembers this experience like the Benders when he desires to do things like drink demon blood. He thinks, yeah, I may not be human, but humans are not exactly saints themselves. At least I'm not kidnapping other people for pleasure. Maybe I'm overthinking of things a little bit. No, actually, that's honestly a good idea. It's something that is adds more to the whole idea, the burden, the guilt, and the hate slash need to have the demon blood uh, that Sam goes through. Thank you guys for those comments, and the next episode is Shadow. To be honest, I actually don't remember this one, but I think I know what it is. I actually like that I'm kind of reliving through Supernatural right now, so this is a fun time. So make sure to give me your comments about Shadow, what you like about it, what you don't, what you think stands out, and just what you think about the episode in general. And I'll make sure to say some of those comments in the next video. And once again, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. And as always, I'll have a playlist of the episode reviews I've done, both new and old, at the end of this video. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching the video. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. You know, Nitz, you can't get more money unless you offer questionable favors. Yeah, guy. Unless, of course, those favors involve the ladies, guy. <sniffs> By support, I mean getting the word out, guys. Oh, well, couldn't you find a better means than this guy? All he seems to talk about is supernatural or hold a coffee mug real awkward. Why didn't you ask a Kardashian or something? Yeah, guy. Get in with the ladies, guy. Hey, he's trying to help out. Like you've been trying with Kimmy Burton? I've seen Jabba the Hutt finish a marathon faster. Yeah, guy. You're a massive slug thing, guy. <sighs> to see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.